Well, welcome to Current Mood. Uh, I should say, I should say. Welcome to Current Mood. I'm your master of ceremonies, John Mayer. Um, if I look a little different tonight, it's because tonight is sort of a different show. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute as to why. I'm very excited. I have been very excited to do this show for several months now. So we'll get to that very soon. But I want to say hello to everybody out there. I uh, hope you had some kind of a week that in some way brought you joy and differentiation from the weeks before. Uh, I'm a little nervous. There's a lot of time and energy went in to tonight's show. But we'll get there. We'll get there in a moment. Um, so I hope you're holding up okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, again, I will explain why I look the way I look very shortly. Uh, cursed image, uh, Jensen Karp. Uh, blessed image, I say. I feel blessed. I feel blessed inside um, for many reasons. Um, it looks weird, but it's going to feel so good if you just relax and let it through you. Um, let's see what's going on out there. How's everyone doing? Yeah, I might have to do a makeup tutorial. I'll get into this very momentarily. Uh, this was supposed to look a little bit, a little bit better. I think I did pretty good. I had to do it myself. Somebody was supposed to do it. We'll get into it in a moment. Uh, hey, so this week, let's get into the news. Uh, Travis Scott released a new song via the video game Fortnite to great success. And I applaud Mr. Scott for that. But I also want to say that that's not the first time it's been done. And in fact, it was done first by me many years ago. In fact, I can prove it to you, and I believe we go to color here as I do that. But uh, this is a uh, time that I introduced a song of mine in a video game. Take a look. So that's, that's cool. So, so I, uh, again, no hard feelings. Also, the timing makes no sense. That game came out in 1986 or seven, but it's no less hurtful. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm not hurt at all. Happy birthday, Travis Scott. Uh, Jensen, again, thank you for your encouragement. Um, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to the zone here. Uh, uh, it feels better when I just do this. It feels more, it just feels more in keeping with the whole vibe right now. And by vibe, I mean. Why the suit? Let me tell you something. Everything is about to make perfect sense. And by perfect sense, I mean get further away from making any sense. Um, oh, let's also, before we move on, uh, let's go to the Current Mood Chopper, which is right now live over Los Angeles. Ah, beautiful city. Even under all this crisis, the city still looks beautiful at night. Really overspent it with the chopper. I know I look at that view every day and I say, when, when can we go back? Anyway. Uh, $138,000 well spent to rent that helicopter just for the hour. You can land now. You can land now. Uh, again, I'm going to tell you that uh, it's just it's just a little more a little more convincing. Let's put this back. Um, John. Oh. Okay. So let me explain to you why I look like this. I have been practicing since the beginning of this season. And this is the 10th episode going on Instagram TV. So this is somewhat of a season finale. Uh, next week might be the season premiere, I don't know. I just want three or four days to think about it. But what I had planned was that the entire season, I'd been learning to be a ventriloquist. And I took lessons and I got what I believe is fairly good, good enough to want to share it with you. 
uh, I was paired with a partner. We don't say dummy anymore. It's 2020. We're woke. I was paired with a partner. Uh, he has done a lot of work. You may recognize him. His name is Cecil DeSantos. And we were getting ready to do our bit tonight. It was going to be fantastic. And Cecil informed me about an hour ago that he can't guarantee that he didn't have close physical contact with somebody else. That's right. What you fear is true. I have to keep social distance from my partner. And I'm going to say it in this case, he's a dummy. He's a dummy for what he's done. In fact, here he is right now. He's over there. He's over there in the corner. And Cecil decided that he was going to take a six hour Costco run, a six hour Costco run. What business does somebody have at cost company for six hours? Six hour cost company run? I don't think so. You dog. You can't even keep it in your pants as loose and nondescript as they may be. Long enough to do this for me. Once again, I have to do this alone now. How's everyone doing out there? I feel like I should check in with you guys. It's not a terrible look. Also, Cecil and I have matching outfits. It's not always you have a matching outfit with the partner, but I decided that I would do that because I'm a good partner. I don't go to cost company for 30 minutes. and drive two hours each way to be with a lover for 12 to 15 minutes. Loose and nondescript, not just his pants, but the man inside of them. John, is the lockdown getting to you? Not really, I mean, look at me, I'm doing fine. Anyway, the point is, I was looking forward to doing my bit. And now I can't because we can't sit next to each other. John. John, look under the chair, John. Oh, my goodness. Matching masks. We can do a show together, but we'll have to do it with matching masks. Won't you please excuse me while I go take my partner his mask? Cecil, I apologize to you, at least for as long as it takes to hear the seat on this show. Now here we go. Cecil, it's fairly good to see you. Pretty good to see you too, John. Thank you, thank you. Uh, anybody out there have any questions for Cecil, please let me know in the comments below. Cecil, Cecil and I have had to also redo our entire bit because of current events. The bit now would not be appropriate uh, we had a lot of songs planned, like songs like May I Touch Your Face, Breathe On Me, which wasn't so much inappropriate, but was a copyright infringement of Lean On Me. Uh, also songs like Let's Gather Together, Ten Thousands A Crowd, and Touch Me Indiscriminately, Repeatedly, and Without Any Means of Protection. Remember how that song went? Yes, I do very well. I remember how it went. How did it go? You're the one that I've selected to make love to unprotect. Okay, okay, that's about it for now. So, Cecil is a dog. In fact, we have Cecil's headshot 
right here. Let's take a look at Cecil's headshot. Cecil, what is that? Cecil, what does that say? Spirit, it says spit in my mouth. Spit in my mouth. Cecil, why would you ever write that? The ladies used to love it. It was a different time. Okay, well, it's a beautiful headshot. They used to call me spit in my mouth, Cecil. Oh, that's just, that's not, that's not time. It's not, there's no time for that. Oh, shut the up. You heard me. Shut the up. Okay, pretty ribald there, Cecil. Pretty, pretty ribald. Um, all right. Now I have to go back to black and white. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, Cecil? I have to go back to black and white. Ah. Yes, cross your legs. Cross your legs like a man. Let's listen to some more <laughs> music, Cecil. Cecil, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? I enjoy blogging. Oh, like blogging on your own website or on Tumblr? No, I like blogging on 4chan. 4chan? Oh my goodness. Yes, coronavirus is caused by 5G. Oh, please don't be, please don't be one of those. What do you mean one of those? You mean one of those free thinkers? No, oh my goodness. Yes, it's caused by 5G. You can read all about it. I'm a heavy, heavy poster with many follows and a lot of user engagement. Okay, well, I'm trying to, stick, trying to keep an open mind. I'm trying to keep an open mind. You'll change your mind when they build a tower down the street from you. Okay, well, if 5G gives you coronavirus, what's the cure for it? CB radio. Fine, CB radio. Oh my goodness. How's everyone doing out there? They hate this. They think you've lost your mind. There will be many think pieces about this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a shamdemic. Oh my goodness. Yes, we've all been quarantined too long. We've all been quarantined too long, except for me, who had to pick up a few things at Costco. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You might have come back with more than a Dyson. <laughs> oh, I was slicing and dicing, all right. Stop it. Shut the up. <laughs> I'm not moving my mouth. A lot of people think I'm <laughs> moving my mouth when, when my partner is talking. But I assure you that I have been taught perfectly and that the mask is just unfortunate. It's unfortunate that I'm wearing the mask. It's unfortunate that I'm your partner. Oh, stop. Is Cecil a Harry Stan? Yes, Harry Dean Stanton. Can you blame him? Cecil, wash your mouth out. Thank you very much. Yeah, again, I, uh, maybe, maybe I could take, I don't want to take his mask off. Oh, sure. Like John Mayer's the one worried about getting infected. Hey. You skeeve ball. I'm not. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure you're not. Okay. <sighs> they say shoot your shot. Don't put 10,000 basketballs into a cannon. <laughs> okay. I don't do that. Yes, you do that. No, I don't. Cecil is a slut. Spit in my mouth, Cecil, they used to call me. <laughs> goodness no so anyway um i feel good enough to i feel good enough to take this down how about the fact that the doll the my partner and i are in matching outfits um <sighs> mm. how's everyone doing out there uh, how's, uh, Cecil, where are you going? I thought I, <laughs> I thought I had to do another Costco run, but just by myself in the bathroom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't you work blue on everybody. Oh, shut the up. Cecil. Shut the up. 
Cecil, what are you doing to close the door? You shut it. What's the first word in the title of the Chronicles of Narnia? The. What's an F word you can't say in school? Fuck. What's the opposite of down? Up. Put it all together. Shut the fuck. Shut the f up. All right. Well, you gotta say something. You just told me to. <laughs> Look, this is either going really good or it's going really bad. But the fact is, it's going, baby. The fact is, it's popping off. And I'm not sure in what direction. Did you say direction? That's French for boner. Thank you. <laughs> mm. All right, listen. All right, listen. It's the dummy. This has helped immensely. Thank you for the last. Well, listen, that's what we're trying to do is just to get people to laugh. I'm just trying to be lovingly stupid. Now, this is out of place and this is, this is a little crazy. Let me put my mask back on because um, I want to do a little more ventriloquism. Anybody out there have any questions for Cecil? Anybody out there have any questions for Cecil? Have any questions for me? Questions, comments, DMs, tasteful nudes, not tasteful nudes, grimy nudes, grimecore nudes, Norwegian death metal nudes. Uh, you really seem to take. I take all comments. This Costco has every department. Okay. Cecil, are you on Raya? Yes. I'm tired of getting direct requested by everybody. Oh, well. So what do you set your ages at? 85 to 90, baby. Whoa. Our most vulnerable are our most venerable. <laughs> Cecil, you're funny. <laughs> what? Our most vulnerable. I heard it. It's great. Our most venerable. Yes, venerate the vulnerable. That's actually... It's a tongue twister, and you'd know that if you took your fucking mask off. <laughs> okay, okay, relax, relax. Cecil, are you on drugs at this moment in time? Okay, he's about to prove a point. Cecil, I'm trying to... Cecil... Oh, I think he's trying to show you his dilated pupils. Of course I'm on drugs. I've been on drugs since 1929. I had a hand in my ass all through the vaudeville era. Believe me, the last thing I wanted was this wash-up to come get me, learn how to use me, and then call me back from a Costco run. I was doing my best work in a long time. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, David Spade says, uh, Cecil, sh uh, you should hit David Spade on, on Grindr. I didn't say anything, David. I just, sh shut the f up, David Spade. Shut the f up. Do you do anything other than tell people to shut the f up? Well, I do some pretty ribald 1920s jokes. Don't do any of those, my friend. I just want people to say the show was weird, not career ending. Your career has already ended. Thank you. Thanks for pointing that out. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, my goodness. Cecil, where are the weed at? The weed at Cecil's stash pocket. And his kangaroos! You wear kangaroos? Yeah, baby! You wear, you wear roos? Velcro, baby! I don't have the hands! Don't have the hands for laces! I'm a Velcro man, baby! I keep my lunch money, my lunch tickets, my Costco coupons. That's what I call condoms. What, your voice is changing. I'm getting horny, baby. Okay, relax. In my weed. In my weed. In my weed. Okay. Ventriloquism is fun. That's what I want you to hear from this, is that ventriloquism is fun, even in a time of crisis, when people have to wear their, their masks. It's still... Does he get along with the Grateful Dead guys, or is the age gap a problem? He's actually older than everyone combined. 
Cecil's been around since 1919. He has seen the pandemic before. He's, this is not his first rodeo. It's not his first rodeo. Cecil's last name is Cecil De, De, Cecil De Campo. I just realized that your initials are CDC. CDC, like, yeah, CDC, like CDC, CDC, CDC's lips. Watch them when they tell me to shut the f up. You said tell me. I know I said tell me. Tell you to shut the f up. Okay. Does Cecil have a special lady? Yeah, I have a special lady. It's the OANN reporter from the White House press conferences. She's cute. Yeah, she's like a flight attendant back there. What do you mean? Because she, she didn't have a seat. Didn't have a seat standing up there like in the galleys. Okay, well, that's fine. It's fine. But she's a cutie. We love the OANN girl. Love the OANN girl. Cecil, I find that your voice is changing quite a bit since the beginning of this. And whose fault would that be? Guess mine. Uh, Cecil, do you know Dr. Fauci? You mean Tony? Yeah, I know Tony. Tony owes me money. That bastard owes me money. The year was 1972. We were in Vegas. We're playing a pretty hot poker game. Tony gets all cocky, thinks he's got what it takes. But luck was on my side that day. Or so I thought. I put everything in the pot, everything I had, including my lady. I sweetened that pot with my own love. I throw down two twos, <laughs> two fours. <laughs> And the calendar card. I don't know how that even got in my hands. And what did Tony have? Tony Fauci had five of a kind. How do you even get five of a kind? He's Tony fucking Fauci, people. He can do that. He is a hero. Five of a kind, Tony. Five of a kind. You owe me money and you owe me that girl back. Well, sounds like something you might need to work out. We learned a little bit about the history of both Cecil and Dr. Anthony Fauci. You look like a dictator when your hair does that. I know, it's just long. It's, it's, it's long. Yeah, it's weird looking when it's too. Five of a kind, Tony! Five of a kind! I will say, it's something sounds amiss. How did Cecil write all my songs? Have you heard of songs that are not that hard to make up? You just close your eyes and shoot them out your ass. Oh, it took me a little harder, but it took me a little longer, but that's okay. All right, listen, Cecil, let's just, let's just get real with people for a minute. We're already like 25 minutes into this. Let's, let's just take a break. How's everyone doing out there? We are twins. That was our bit. That was our... I don't know if you put that together, but that was our bit. Uh, someone else was supposed to do my makeup today. I had to do it myself. Um, tour dates! Oh, that would be great. But he can't tour because he has priors in every county in the United States of America. Tin Pan Alley, the only place they'll have him. Um, there's a lot of factoids about Cecil that you need to know. Um... He is not allowed to tour. Um, he's on dialysis. And uh, a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. So he's not allowed, not allowed to leave. Um, any other questions? Uh, he also is the only person to have both priors and futures. That's when somebody's sure that you're going to commit a crime and they book you on it anyway. He's that dangerous a person. Cecil isn't allowed within 15 feet of a school. That is true. And um, Cecil is the one, since the beginning of time, who has put dirty magazines in the woods next to the school. If you've ever wondered, who's putting all this porn in the woods for young boys to find, as formative an experience as that might be, 
we found the culprit. Cecil admitted to me late last night that it's been him. And he calls it a unique public service. Oh no, he said pubic service. I'm sorry, I got that wrong in my head. Cecil ever been to jail? Cecil spent most of his time on the inside. Um, and he's beautiful inside and out. That's what that phrase means for him. He's beautiful inside and out. Shawshank Redemption was loosely based on a fever dream of Cecil's while he was in the slammer. He's loved him and he's left him. He's righted them and he's wronged them. He's shorted them and he's longed them. He's singed them and he's songed them. He's kinged them and he's conged them. He's conquered them all. Someone said they're wheezing. Did you hear that? Someone said they're wheezing. Um, is there anything you'd like to say right now? Wow, that was Morse code for let's finish this bit up. Wow. Wow, our viewership is down 100%, Cecil. This is a hit. This show is a smash. <laughs> this is the show. Let me put this down for you. This is the show. Let me put it down right here. Where, um, this is like the amnesia episode in every show. And this, I should have remembered that the amnesia episode of every show sucks terribly. This is the one where Skippy and Mallory get stuck in the attic. There's no plot. It's too different from the other versions of the show that you like. And I apologize to you. I apologize. But uh, I had to do something different. I had to do something different. You think you're scaring people. I think right now I'm scaring people and that in time, this will make sense. I think this will make sense in the memory. Put a couple drinks behind this and I think you'll figure it out. Wow, 3D checkers. Hope you don't have a nightmare night. Well, that would be this, way, this show's way of saying hi. Uh, oh, someone said this is the best one. Now look, this is, this is the work you wanna do in your life. And I'm actually very serious here. You wanna do the work that is either someone's favorite, and in fact, you want it to concurrently be one person's favorite and one person's nightmare. And then you know you're doing something. Then you know you're existing on the outer fringes of what's happening, baby. I'm going for weird tonight. It's a weird episode. You see, in this episode tonight, I was a ventriloquist operator. And because of the pandemic, the dummy and I had to keep social distance. We got that joke in. Then the masks. How did I get the masks? Well, it turns out that I got them through some sort of divine intervention. And remember, this is what it sounded like. John, look under the chair, John. That's how I figured out how to bridge the joke from the doll being six feet away to being able to have him sit next to me with the mask. Is Ben Kenobi told me the mask is under the chair. It should be tacitly understood that I have too much free time on my hands. But I want you to know something, that I love you guys, I love doing this show, and I've done it for you. I did it to shake stuff up, because this week didn't shake, baby. This week had no vibration. The week before it had no vibration. And I'm just trying to shake things up. Anybody out there have any questions? Oh, wait, I don't wanna go back to this. What are some other filters are there other filters that would work with this, with this look? Oh, that's pretty, it's like a Lichtenstein. You know, this just goes to show you that filters kind of work. These days have no flavor. These days have no flavor. Yeah, I, I would, I absolutely agree with you that the color this color one is just completely too freaky. I look like the guy who works at the door of every club. Every club, hand, S-curve, hand, S-curve. I look like I work at a club called S-curve. Actually, I look like a young George Clooney 
if he did makeup tutorials. Okay, I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to black and white, but I just I look like George Looney. So oh, also there's some uh, contouring there. I wish this show had more contour. Nightmare is in color. Okay, let's look at a few more a few more things. Hold on, hold on a second. Let's really have all tap to try on. What am I trying on? Um, okay, hold on. Let's see what. Oh, this might freak you out. This feels like it's gonna freak you out. I'm tapping on it. Let's go back to black and white. Oh, thank God. By the way, this shows that we really made progress when I went back to black and white and you were like, thank God. <laughs> sure. This is how we can be sure that I've grown on you. Um, let's bring back, let's bring back Cecil one more time. Does anybody have any more questions for Cecil? De Santos. One more time. Let's take a, let's take one more look at Cecil's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a headshot from ostensibly a hundred years ago. He's a vampire. And he wrote to someone, spit in my mouth, which I find disgusting. But look at that smile on his face while he's also suggesting to someone he's signed an autograph to, spit in my mouth. It's just gross. It's just gross. All right. Um, oh, let me take this off. And then it's going to make me do it again. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Stop it. And then this. Okay. Well, this was better black and white. I feel like we should wrap up. Don't, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Uh, how much for the headshot? Um, I'll probably put the headshot up on Instagram stories. Why is this happening? Because nothing else has happened, you see? And I thought I really wanted to take it to the next level. So Cecil and I are going to sing a song for you. And then I'm going to maybe sing one real song for you. Because it's the only way that I'll feel after this that I have any dignity redeemed. Oh, he's back. Damn right I'm back. What were you doing that whole time? Just sitting chilling. Okay, that's cool. I'm high. Yeah, we know. We know you're high. I'm using my mask as a rolling paper later. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, we're going to sing you a song. Now, I put it to Cecil to sing. I said, can we sing a hit? I said, Cecil, can, can, Jamie King, I'm not cheating with the mask. Are you saying that anybody wearing a mask during this time of crisis is cheating? I'm being responsible. What I'm being right now is responsible. Cecil said, when I said, let's do a hit, Cecil wanted to do a song from the 1920s by a man named Billy Murray. He wanted to sing a song called Just As We Used To Do. I don't think this is gonna play well because you don't know the song and it's a hundred years old. So is this bit. Okay, well, uh, this is, this is a song he wanted to do. It's called Just As We Used To Do. It's a real contemporary smash. It's a real smash a -rooney. And uh, it's by Billy Murray. And we'll put the link to this song up later on so you can enjoy it at home, if in fact you do. And it goes like this. Mabel used to worry. Mabel used to pout. She said, oh, my darling Jack would be the biggest thing when he gets back. Mabel got a cable. Now Mabel doesn't doubt. It read, my dear, I'm leaving here. My program's all mapped out. Will we stroll through the park? Just as we used to do. We'll go for a lark. Just as we used to do. We sit in the parlor and turn the lights down low. Right and on my knee is where you'll be and oh, oh, oh. We'll hug and squeeze just as we used to do. 
We'll hug and tease, just as we used to do. Your dad will yell, turn off that light, and what else can we do? We'll have to kiss and say goodnight, just as we used to do. Mabel swept the parlor, brought it up to date. She fixed the sofa where it would be in a plain place where no one would see. Mabel is now nervous, for she can hardly wait. When she wrote Jackson, hurry back, I think your plans are... Everyone sing it! Stroll through the park, just as we used to do. We'll go for a lark, just as we used to do. We'll sit in the parlor, and turn the window Just like we used to do, I'll change the brand, just like I used to do. You'll be in the with all your might, and I'll be fine on a Costco run. And you wind up with the mic, just as we used to do. That was beautiful, Cecil. We're so glad we rehearsed that forever and ever and ever. Okay, one more time for Cecil DeSantos. Good night, everybody. It's past my bedtime. And by bedtime, I mean I should have died in 1947. Okay. We'll hug and squeeze. Just, just as we used to do. We'll hug and Just as we used to do. Well. What did we learn here tonight? We learned here that you have to take chances. You gotta shoot for the stars. And if you miss, you'll fall on the roof of a nearby home. But when you get out of jail, you'll feel better about yourself because you, for one moment, felt the rush of flight, baby. And that's, that's worth, that's worth all the payments to the home you busted when you flew through the, the roof and you passed out for a couple hours. And when you came to, it was a shotgun on your head. And the shotgun was people telling you you were crazy. It says here I should play Waiting on the World to Change. <laughs> it says here that I should play Waiting on the World to Change. And I don't know if I should play Waiting on the World to Change. Because look at me. That would mean that a video of me playing Waiting on the World to Change would go everywhere and without context. And people would see me doing this. Should I still play? Oh, God. Should I still play Waiting on the World to Change looking like this? This is my question. I really don't want to do it. Okay, listen. If I sing Waiting on the World to Change looking like this, will you please, please never explain why I look like this? Never explain why I look like this. Don't back me up. Don't explain the context of this ever. Just say you don't get it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna play Waiting on the World to Change. This is a song that um, in the last few weeks, I uh, hear a lot of people um, singing and bringing some life to, and it's not exactly uh, means, a, uh, in terms of what the song means, it's not really what I had in mind when I wrote it, but that song's for you. It's down the line, they pick up more meaning, they, they reflect light in a different way based on new experiences, so I'm gonna play Waiting on the World to Change looking like this. I also think that it's time and it's only fair to bring Cecil in just to listen, so. Also, who out there has, we'll stroll through the park just like we used to do. It's not a, it's a march. Think about this, back then, people were like, yo, I'ma drop this march on them. <laughs> yo, this march is lit. These people got to get this. Wait till you hear this march. Hottest march ever. Yo, this is a Billy Murray type march. Hit them. I want march battles next time. Say it with me. March Madness. Okay, well, I have here my guitar. And I think that I should bring Cecil back.
That's why we're waiting, we're waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, we're waiting on the world to change. It's not that we don't care, we just know that the fight ain't fair. So we keep on waiting, 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 waiting on the world to change right now. Spade said, don't rush it. <sighs> um, thank you guys very much. You know what? Let's end it, Let's end it the way we, uh, we started it. Suit or just jacket? Let me tell you something. Suit, baby. I did it because I thought if, if I'm going down, I'm going shut down. Take me down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I honest to God just wanted to do something to shake things up, even just in myself. Uh, I know this is a long haul. I think a little insanity is good for you. Just stretches your brain a little bit. This is challenging everybody's attention span, not just this show, but these times. Most punishments don't last this long. If coronavirus were being grounded by your mother, your mother would have given in by now. And what she told you was gonna be six months would have been six weeks. And by the way, if you did something to get grounded for six months, you're Cecil DeSantos. That's Cecil DeSantos level stuff. Never in our lifetimes has a punishment endured with such strength and resolve from the Punisher. We don't have any experience with something being bad and staying bad. We normally get let out of timeout. There's normally a way that people just humanly fatigue and go, I can't be mad at you. Breakups don't last that long sometimes. People go, I can't be mad at you. In this case, this is an uncompromising, uncompromising punishment. And so I just wanna say, to the best of your ability, have some good times under the umbrella of this bad time. Try to get some good times in. That's what tonight's all about, is just to try to get a good time or two in before you know, you lose your mind, and this is a way to not lose your mind. Yeah, just a cruel, cruel punishment. So hang in there, do your best. I live to do these shows. I mean, I didn't just end up with a ventriloquist dummy. I mean. That's a plan, and I think about you every time I think about the plan, and it's super fun. I love hanging out with you guys. I needed to do this so that next week, when it looks normal, it feels a little bit newer to me. Hope it feels a little bit newer to you. I can't quit you. I'm gonna do it next week, too. I love you guys so much. Please, 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 to the best of your ability, have some memorable good times under this umbrella of bad times, because I think the umbrella is pretty big. And I think the way that you get out from under the umbrella is to ignore the umbrella. I know you can't, I know you can't all the time, but squeeze a little good time in there every once in a while. So from myself and the great and the wanted man, Cecil DeSantos, I'll just say one time. Good night, America and the world. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.